are you listening to too many people? Too many gurus, they're all telling you different ways to have a business, to run your business, and what you need for your business. It has to stop, right? All these mentoring relationships can really get confusing. No matter if you are watching them from afar, like on YouTube, or you're reading their books, or if you have actually invested in a program with someone or in coaching, it's really important to find the right mentoring person for your Christian business. We're gonna talk about mentoring relationships today, what they look like, how you can find them, and why they are important to you as a Christian entrepreneur. Join me. Hey there, wise woman. This is Deneen TV, your Christian business growth strategist and clarity coach, dare I say, mentor. <laughs> Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I would love it if you would share this video, especially if you're enjoying the content. So we're going to be chatting about what mentoring looks like. That is the qualities of a mentor. We'll also talk about ways to find a mentor. And finally, what we're going to do is chat about why these mentor relationships are truly important for you in your Christian business. Okay, so a mentor is defined as a person who is an experienced or trusted advisor. It usually is a relationship between two people, but it can also be one person to a group like in coaching, or it can even be peer to peer because each person has differing strengths that they're bringing to the situation. In the simplest sense, it is the more experienced person pouring into the less experienced one, typically what we call the mentor-mentee relationship. The mentor's role is actually split and can take on many different forms. They might be considered a teacher or sponsor, or advisor, an agent, a role model, a coach, and even a confidant. Think back to those people that have mentored you in one way or another, whether you paid for it or not. How many of these roles did that person play for you? Maybe you've even mentored someone else and think about the roles that you've played for one of them. I know in, in my own coaching, I can see how I've used the teacher, the advisor, the role model, and even the confidant in my ways of interacting with those that I coach. With my own daughters, I see it more like role modeling and teaching with that occasional, I don't know, coaching and confidant, maybe once in a while. As a Bible teacher, I can see definitely the role modeling and the advisor at play. While one person cannot be all things to another person, it's important to recognize what type of relationship is best for everyone involved in any particular situation where you have this mentor mentee. But first, let's talk about what a mentoring relationship looks like. It really comes down to what are the qualities of a mentor. In a good mentoring relationship, it means that the person that is doing the mentoring needs to have these qualities. And if you're gonna be mentoring, these are qualities that you actually need to aspire to in order to be a good mentor as well. The best quality that I see for being a good mentor is being an active listener. Really, it is the communication with the interaction. This takes energy. It's not enough to be passively taking in the information. You know, you're hearing them. It actually requires some things of you. It requires eye contact, maybe that leaning in, nodding. It also means that maybe you're taking notes, whether that's physically or mentally. Um, maybe you're asking for clarification. You're just being curious. Now, I have a video that talks about the three C's of effective listening, um, and you can see more about those specific ways if you'd like to learn about becoming a better active listener. Another quality that is really a two for one for those who are in a mentor relationship and what they need to be is because they both need to be dedicated to the other's success and their own success. So it's kind of a dual kind of thing here. I say that these go together because you cannot be genuinely interested in helping another person unless you find some benefit for yourself. So it's kind of that two-way street. You have to be looking out for their success, but you have to be looking out for your own success. In a mentoring relationship, each person grows in different ways. Each can be really learning in different ways as well. They can be gaining confidence in their abilities, finding satisfaction in serving one another. I love what First Peter 4.10 reminds us. It says, God has given 
each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them to serve one another well. The last quality I want to mention is a kind of a threefer, okay? I call it the three R's to be exact. It's responsible, respectful, and ready. Mentoring relationships will not work if those inside those relationships are not ready in a lot of ways. Your business will not be successful no matter what you try if you are not ready. Ready to take the responsibility, ready to get out of your comfort zone, and ready to give the work the respect that it takes to get things done. Hmm. This is so true for how we treat others in the relationship as well. Making sure you do what you say you're going to do and really committing to any projects that you've decided to work on together. As you can see, all these mentor relationships are not one-sided at all. They take dedication from both of the parties involved, whether that's plural or singular, okay? That takes us to the next thing that I wanna chat about, how to find a mentor. Really, what I want to have us look at are the ways to find a mentor that can help us in all types of areas because finding one person can be tricky, but finding a community of possible mentors is even better, right? So what do I mean? Well, if a mentor is someone who has a little bit more knowledge in one or more areas that you need, and of course you may have knowledge in areas that they need, then I love that because the mentoring becomes reciprocal. If you are striving to be better communicators and you're willing to offer your advice, your constructive criticism, and really can be empathetic, then we can each really be a mentor to someone else. After all, the purpose of mentoring is not only to share information, but it's also to provide guidance. It's also to motivate one another, provide emotional prayer support, and really to live by example. So we have to be in relationship. So where can you find this? Well, obviously you can find it inside of a community that is made up of dedicated, growing Christian women entrepreneurs. If you've been following my last couple of videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, have you heard about it? Have you heard about the Calling Clarity community? This community will be starting very soon, and it goes beyond anything you can have in a Facebook group, or even in an accountability group, or even in a mastermind. Inside this community, you're gonna be able to connect with women who are ahead of you on their entrepreneurial adventure that can mentor you and you will be ahead of others that you want to or can be a mentor to. What I love about the community that we are creating is that you will be able to find specific women that you resonate with and who can be the greatest help to you and where you're at. Not only will you be growing and learning, but you'll have the opportunity to participate in the growth and the learning of others. This is so exciting for me. We have set up the community in such a way that it will feel very natural to do this and very organic, so you don't have to stress out about it. If you wanna know more about the Calling Clarity community, I want you to click the link down in the description and get on the wait list. That's the only thing we have right now. We'll be giving you more information. You know, it's going to be a place where you can find and get a mentor and actually be a mentor by serving others in the community. So imagine, imagine this entire community where each person is dedicated to the success of every other person, where you really feel supported, encouraged, and celebrated as you live out God's calling for you and what he's given you to do. Romans eleven twenty nine says this, for God's gifts and his call can never be withdrawn. You know, God has given you specific abilities and skills and giftings that are to be used in the body. Now, this is not just meaning the church that you attend, but the church with a capital or big C, right? This is the other believers in your world. My challenge is this. Think about how you are living out your calling and if you are truly supporting other believers as they live out theirs. In the Calling Clarity community, this will be your place to do just that, to live out your giftings and really serve the body. It's kind of mind blowing for me. And of course, that leads us to the last thing that I wanna talk about, why mentoring relationships 
are important for your Christian business. Now, it may seem obvious that having a community around you makes it easier to find the answers that you need to the problems that you're having in whatever area that may be. Inside a community, it gives you ways to connect to others that have your same values, where you can really go deeper, faster, because you have more opportunities to see each other in action, so to speak, right? Really, mentoring relationships are all about the give and the take. And in today's world, we are all so busy. It is so hard to find time to develop these relationships, the ones that are truly necessary for your success in business. In fact, many businesses fail. We know these statistics, right? Why do they fail? Well, one of the top statistics says it's because the owners, you and me, the people who created our business, we get in our own way. There's a list of things that we actually do that sabotage ourselves, like things like being stubborn to change, really having a risk averse personality that we need to deal with. Maybe it's perfectionism, so like you really never get started. Or maybe it's just plain greed or paranoia, or should we say the fear of failure? It could just be our own insecurities, that imposter syndrome. Now, if you're trying to do it all on your own, that is a recipe for disaster. God has given you this business calling, not so you can like tough it out, but so you can unite with others to help you figure it out. Mentoring relationships are really give back relationships. They are the very relationships that can help you go from being alone to really having a think tank team. Think about that from having no idea which direction to go to really creating a business that is perfect for you because it is God's design for you. In your business, you need to be able to stand independently, knowing that you have a support system in place beneath you, a foundation. That's the mentoring relationship. That's what a community of mentoring relationships can do for you. Encourage, motivate, teach, support, celebrate, and stimulate you to new levels of success. First Peter 5, 9 and 10 reminds us this by saying, stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support, and strengthen you, and he will place you on a firm foundation. That's why we need one another in business, in life, as believers. Are you excited? Do you want to know more about the Calling Clarity community? Get on the wait list by clicking the link in the description. So what does mentoring look like? Sharing the qualities of listening, being dedicated to one another, and the three R's, responsibility, respect, and readiness. How can you find a mentor? By being inside of a larger community where you have the connections that align with your own values to find someone or someones quicker and easier. Why are these mentor relationships important to your Christian business? Because God has called us to make disciples and we get to do that through our businesses. But we need to have the right growth opportunities in place so that we can do it successfully. I hope this has inspired you to become part of the Calling Clarity community. If you still have questions, let's make an appointment to chat. That'll be down in the description too. Make sure to like this video. Tell me in the comments what thoughts this has sparked for you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. This is Deneen TV. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, be filled to overflowing.